Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Wisdom Wednesday. <laughs> All right, it's Wisdom Wednesday, and every week on Wednesday, what I do right now, until this book is done, is I go over the Tao Te Chain. Okay, and what this is, is it's basically a book of old wise Chinese proverbs. Um, and what it its intention is, is to bring wisdom into your life and really bring awareness to some of the things that you do in life. Just to make it to where you become a better person and really strive to be the best version of you in this crazy world. And what's really crazy is, is this thing was written back in like 2500 B.C., E, B, C, E, B, C, whatever, whichever one y'all, it goes by now. But all that time, all those years ago, and it's still relevant today, okay? So after all these thousands of years, humans have not changed or evolved, and we still can benefit from the verses in this book. <laughs> so um, without further ado, we're going to jump on in, but before I do, Please like, subscribe, and share because if you get something out of this, chances are someone else will as well. And we're going to jump into sincerity. It's verse 23. Um, so what I usually do is I'll read through the whole thing and then I'll go by each verse, um, each section, and give my opinion of it. And I always encourage you guys to leave a comment below and tell me what you think. What did you get out of this? What was your interpretation? Because there's no right or wrong to it. It's, it's really how you interpret it, okay? So this, I'm giving you mine. So please drop a comment and give me yours. All right, let's get to it. So sincerity. Um, speak few words, but say them with quietude and sincerity, and they will be long-lasting. For a raging wind cannot blow all morning, nor a sudden rainstorm last throughout the day. Why is this so? Because this is the nature of the sky and the earth to be frugal. Every human being cannot alter this nature without suffering the consequences. When we sincerely follow the ethical path, we become one with when we be, we become one with when we become one with the ethical path it embraces us. When we completely lose our way, we become one with less with loss. When we become one with loss, loss embraces us. When we sincerely follow the great integrity, we become one with it. And when we are one with the great integrity, it embraces us. But when nothing is done sincerely, no thing and no one embraces us. All right. Um, I just realized something, too. Like, it's something I noticed, but I've never spoken on and never said anything. I know this sounds kind of religious, but it's not. This is more philosophical than it is religious. Um, because it has to do with the way you think and you perceive the world. And it's not an organization. Because that's basically what religion is. is an organization for a belief system. And this is more philosophical. Um, so let's get to it. So it says, speak few words, but say them with quietude and sincerity. And they will be long lasting for a raging wind cannot blow all morning, nor a sudden rainstorm last throughout the day. So this is basically to me saying... Um, speak few words, but say them with quietude and sincerity. So you don't have to yell and jump up and down and act a fool when you say something. You can speak what y'all speak your mind, um, mean what you say, <laughs> and the words that you speak and the words that you say will be long lasting. That that the person will actually remember. So like if you're trying to plant a seed in somebody, or if the um, information you're given is going to something that can help them out. If you're not yelling at them about it, if you're not jumping up and down, and but you're you're being quiet about it, you're being calm, um, and you mean what you say, then they'll they'll um, retain it. Okay, it'll penetrate more because, like it says, a raging wind cannot blow all morning, and a sudden storm, a rainstorm cannot last throughout the day. You hooping and hollering and acting fool and jumping up and down and cussing people out and all that. You cannot continue to do that all day long. Eventually, you're going to wear yourself out. And all the words that you're saying, nobody's listening to now because you're yelling and raising your voice. So whatever it was you're trying to say, nobody's hearing you. Nobody's hearing you anymore because you're yelling and acting a fool. And so that's all they see and that's all they hear is you yelling and acting a fool. The words that you're using are not penetrating. They don't mean anything anymore because of how you're acting. Um, why is this so? Because the nature of the sky and the earth is to be frugal. 
even human beings cannot alter this nature without suffering the consequences that's kind of self-explanatory to me <laughs> like you have to be frugal like it doesn't rain all the time it doesn't snow all the time we don't have thunderstorms all the time you know we have sun all the time but there's so much benefit to having a sun and so many things that you can do and it's not a disruption the rest of the stuff is a disruption to your life and therefore it cannot last and when you try to make it last you suffer the consequences of it which is sometimes, you know, you always acting a fool, always yelling, always going off on people and cussing people out. <laughs> Guess what? People don't want to be bothered with you. And so the consequence is, is you find yourself alone a lot. Nobody's listening to you. You no longer have a voice. You no longer have an audience. So, and that's you suffering the consequences to it. So when we sincerely follow the ethical path, we become one with it. When we become one with the ethical path, it embraces us. So ethical is a tricky word because so many people have their own versions of what they think and how they interpret the word ethical. Um, to me, ethical means that you are doing what you believe to be right and true. You believe to be connect, ooh, excuse me, connected with what it is that you're trying to do what what you're trying to express in your life that's being ethical you know not not hurting or harming or having no intention to hurt or harm another person or another being to me that's what ethical is so when you sincerely like you truly that's what you want you truly wish no harm on anybody else you truly wish the best for other people and that's how you go through your life then that pathway will embrace you because what do what happens we attract what we give out so if you're attract if you're sending out the energy to to um befriend everybody, to be kind to everybody, to be cautious of causing harm to other people, then that's what you're going to get back. And to me that's what that says. Because when we completely lose our way, we become one with loss. When we become one with loss, loss embraces us. So again, you get what you attract. So if you feel lost and you feel like you just can't make it, you feel like you don't know what you're doing, then you're going to continue to get that in your life. You're going to get more things that come into your life that you don't know. You're going to get more things that make you feel lost that come into your life because we attract what we feel and what we think about and the energy that we put out. That's what we get back. So when you put out the feeling of loss and you put out those ideals of loss, that's what comes back to you. So when we sincerely follow the great integrity, we become one with it. And when we are one with the great integrity, it embraces us. Now, the great integrity in this book is really speaking to God, Yahweh, Source, Spirit, uh, Jehovah, whatever name you give it, whatever name you give that energy, that, that creator spirit, whatever you name you, you call out to it. That's what it means by their great integrity. So it says when you follow that pathway of God or source or Yahweh, Allah, whatever name, you become one with it. You become one with God. You become one with Allah. You become one with whatever name you give it. And so that's where we try to, to, to go. That's where really most people are trying to evolve to and trying to reach because you want God to embrace you back. So when you follow the teachings of God or you feel like you follow the teachings of God, which basically, to take the mystery out of it, you want to know what God feels like? It's love. So anytime you're doing something out of love, anytime you're operating from a space of love, you are operating from the space and that energy of God. And that's what they're meaning to become one with God, to embrace that energy and to become one with it which means to love the things that happen to you, good or bad, and have that understanding of it. You know, that is not there to harm you, that is there to make you stronger, make you better. When you have that energy of love towards other people, other things, you know, even inanimate objects. You know, if you don't show love, like if I abuse this desk every week and I'm beating on it, pounding on it, guess what? It's gonna fall apart. Why? Because I'm not appreciating, I'm not showing it any love. But if I'm cautious about how much weight I put on it, oh, well, let me evenly distribute it, then guess what? It's going to last me a lot longer because I'm caring for it. I'm showing love to it. Same thing with the things that are alive in our lives, your pets, your friends, your children, all of that. You know, so you treat things with love. You operate from a place of love 
And that is a place of God, a place of spirit, source, Allah, Jehovah, whatever name you get it. <laughs> That's embracing that energy. Um, but when nothing is done sincerely, no thing and no one embraces us. If we aren't sincere in what we do and if we don't mean the things that we do, the things that we say, then nothing embraces us but that emptiness. Nothing embraces us but the stuff we don't want. You know, you're not going to get that positive stuff. You're not going to get that positive feedback. That it, that positive energy is not going to come to you. That energy of love is not going to come to you. Because all you're not sincere in anything. You don't mean it. <laughs> you don't mean it. People don't want to be around people like that. Like if every time you say something, I can tell. Like when you sit there and you tell me, oh, well, I hope you have a good day. And I can see, like you can really, mm, I hope you have a good day. Like you don't care nothing about my day. You don't care nothing about me or what happens to me. So guess what? I don't care nothing about what happens to you. That's what usually ends up happening. So if you don't mean what you say, you don't mean what you do. You're not walking and being sincere about the way you speak to people and the way you interact with people. Then they're not going to be that way with you. And it's going to leave you in a very lonely, dark place. <laughs> so that's what I got out of this. You know, to basically be sincere just means to be, be your true self. Be who you really are okay um walk in love and if you the person that you really are, are nasty and not the kind of person people want to be around then it's time to change it's time to change <laughs> all right so that was sincerity next week is avoiding voids um that'll be interesting um, but anyway, that was the Dial to Chain. Uh, I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Because if you get something out of it, chances are someone else will as well. And I will see you guys next week. Or tomorrow, rather. Next week for the new, <laughs> for the verse. Y'all can tell I'm a little off. I ain't getting enough sleep, y'all. But anyway, forgive me. <laughs> but anyway, um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And we'll go through the next verse next Wednesday. I love you. Have a great day.